All right, welcome back everybody to Rust Closed Alpha. It is now day three of the zombie apocalypse. And we're doing just fine here in our small shanty shack that we built in episode one. Hold on, we've got aircraft flying overhead. That is a supply plane. It'll randomly fly about and drop, um, drop supplies from the sky on little parachutes, but pretty much everybody runs to it. It's kind of like the cornucopia in Hunger Games. If you want to go there, expect to fight for things. Um, we're not going to do that. So today we're just going to concentrate on uh, upgrading our axe um, and start thinking about getting into better weapons and, and tools and so forth. So what we need to do now is now that we have our little shelter here, we've got our food squared away. Um, I've done a little bit more hunting, so I have cloth and animal fat. I'm just going to go ahead and continue working on my armor. Hopefully we're not attacked tonight because I am sticking out like a sore thumb here with a fireplace and a shack on a grassy hill. But that is to be expected in a PvP game. Um, if you're not hiding somewhere, then uh, you're most likely going to become a target of wandering uh, murderers. And, there's, and, they, and they basically wander around in packs. So be prepared to fight them off or log out or whatever. Uh, but before they show up... Oh, here comes one now. We are going to go ahead and make some boots. Hello. Hello out there. I'm going to use my voice command. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? So we've got a, a, a friendly out there, at least. He does have a gun. He's got an M4. He came over here and said, that's a dangerous situation. And I said, yeah, I know, but I'm making a tutorial. What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, <laughs> at least he's on guard. I don't know if he wants to kill me or what, but anyway. So let's move on. So we need to make a furnace and a uh, workbench so we can get down here and get into the next thing, which would be a metal hatchet so we can work faster. And of course, we want to make a 9mm pistol. So these are pretty much the only recipes and the only tools and armor and weapons that we can make at the beginning of the game. We have to go out and hunt, uh, kill zombies or players, or, um, or find boxes, random boxes laying around to get new blueprints. Um, now, I've already got a furnace made up, but I'll show you the ingredients that we need here. You're going to need 15 stones, 20 wood, and 10 low-grade fuel. And I'm just going to show you how to make a few of these. I'm just going to bang a few of those out. They're pretty quick. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, once you have all of those things, you are able then to craft up a furnace. And the furnace is going to look like that. Um, the workbench merely requires 8 stones and 50 wood. I already have one made up. Again, I'm doing this for uh, expediency purposes. I want to do this quickly if we can. And I'm just going to go ahead and put, we'll put this furnace... Uh, right here in the corner. doesn't really matter where it goes for now. I mean, this is very cramped. Now, ideally, you want to have a bigger shelter. <laughs> and eventually, you want a metal door to keep people away. Um, but that's down the road. For right now, we just get to get a better axe and a better weapon and a better tool. So now that I have my, um, my furnace out, we can go ahead and start cooking up some metal fragments. So if I point to this and hit use, we'll open it up. And I can dump in metal ores here. Um, and where's the other stuff? You're going to get sulfur Hello? and metal ores. Hey there, how's it going? And Hi, what do you do here? I'm just working on a tutorial, trying to help people learn the game of Rust without getting killed. That's nice. All right, well, they're friendly, and it's a good thing because they have weapons. <laughs> Oop, fire's out. So let's go ahead and put some more flame juice on this guy, some more fuel. Now, in order to use this thing, let's see, we need to put fuel in here and then hit use, right. So unlike the campfire, it doesn't actually show you down here, it doesn't separate the, uh, the resources you're trying to smelt or cook from the fuel, unlike the, furnace, uh, unlike the campfire. Hopefully that'll change, because this makes a lot of sense down here it's easy it's much more intuitive so this you just dump in some wood throw in um, what you want to cook up and smelt and again I'm, i've got my sulfur in here my metal ore and uh, we'll just give it some time and there we go we've got metal fragments and we have sulfur 
And we also get charcoal out of this deal because we're going to need all of these. We're going to need the sulfur, the charcoal, and I think that's it to make gunpowder. Let's see. Oops, somebody's shooting out there. It's a dangerous place, this world. Yeah, so charcoal and sulfur will make gunpowder, and we'll get to that shortly. But right now we're mostly... Oops, I just turned it off. you got to make sure you hold the button down and point. We're really interested in the metal fragments at this point. All right, let's get back to crafting, and let's see if we can make our new axe. I'm not sure exactly what we need. Our hatchet requires 10 metal fragments and 20 wood. Great! So we'll get rid of this stone stick. The stick with the stone tied to it and replace it with something metal. Our first piece of metal hardware. <laughs> Flirting with disaster here, folks. Whoops. All right. Well, those two gentlemen were from Germany. They asked me where I was from. I didn't record at all, but I wasn't sure if they were... Um, I think this is the European server. I forget which one I actually hopped on to. Some people don't like uh, Americans showing up on the European server, and also vice versa, which is a little bit ridiculous. But that's the way it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's go craft up... Oh, we got it already, didn't we? Where is it? Here it is. Okay, awesome. We have our metal axe. Much nicer. This will work a lot faster on uh, wood and even even the stones out there, as far as I know. But apparently, there's a pickaxe that we can make at some point. So I think what I'm going to do now is... Uh, let's make... Well, while we're in here, let's just throw some fuel on here. Again, I'm, I'm a big target right now in the middle of the night crafting in a shack that can be seen from miles away. Um, <laughs> but the things we do for science, right? Yeah, let's light that back up. All right. Uh, let's see what else we can craft. Oh, you know what we need to make? A sleeping bag. This is one of the first things you're going to want to make, and you need, I believe it's 20. Yeah, it's 20 cloth. Again, which we get from animals that we slaughter. And this should only take a few seconds. And now with the sleeping bag, we can lay that down in a secure location. And that becomes a, uh, a spawn point for us. And we can use that. If we die, we have the option of spawning at camp. And that is considered our camp. And we'll just wait another few more seconds for that. We'll lay it down right here in the center of this place because it's really know where else to put it. It's getting super cramped in here. And I'll show you what it looks like. And bam. There. And you can pick this up, by the way. These things you can't take along with you once you place down a furnace in a campfire. They stay put. And in fact, you can find these out in the world occasionally um, in bases that are open. So you don't actually have to craft the furnace if you, if you don't have the resources and you see somebody else's. I'm pretty sure you can use it. I don't think... I don't think you have to be the original owner, um, but that's to be verified. Honestly, I don't really know. Uh, these can only be picked up by the owner, as far as I, um, I know, and uh, but they can't be destroyed. So if someone else finds one of these, your bag laying around, they'll probably try to destroy it. But you can bring it with you, too. So what I like to do is I'll have this in here just in case, and I dump everything into a wooden storage box, which we can craft as well. I put everything in my storage box in case I die. I'll respawn here. And if I'm getting into trouble and I'm starting to get overrun wherever I happen to be, I'll just uh, grab everything from the storage box and log out and try a different server or whatever. It, it does get pretty brutal in here. Um, there's a fight. Somebody's shooting out there. All right, so in fact, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to call it. I'm going to grab my sleeping bag. I'm going to grab this. I don't need this anymore. And we're going to go. So I'm going to grab all my stuff. As friendly as these guys seem, I still don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust anyone. <laughs> Is the name of this game right now. But it helps to communicate. If they can hear your voice, they're less likely to attack. All right, I'm going to say bye. There they go. No, they don't really care, I guess. Um, I'm going to hang on to my workbench for the next time, and we'll get into some more heavier-duty-type crafting. We'll, we'll make a gun. We'll get some more metal fragments. We'll make some gunpowder. 
and we'll make a nice nine millimeter um, handgun. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all soon. Hope you enjoyed this third episode, and uh, stay tuned for more Rust. And we'll not we're not going to sit in the shack the whole time. We're going to go out and do some other things, but we really want to have a handgun and the metal axe before we venture out forth. And we definitely don't want to go out in the middle of the night anyway. So um, we'll head out in the day, and we'll go uh, we'll go hunt down some zombies too once we get that nine millimeter. And uh, we'll try to find some more blueprints. All right, we'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Another day to live through. Better get started. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> it was quiet a second ago. <laughs> and that's how the spawns operate. So far, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, what are you doing in my church, man? All right, they've come to pray. It's day 16. It must be Sunday. Um, that was interesting. Okay, I thought I was secure inside here, but apparently not. Hello, everybody. It's day 16, 8.30 in the morning, and welcome to Sunday Mass. Die. 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 Mass? No mass today. There. 